A child separates magnets with their teeth and swallows. A teen pretends to have a pierced tongue. Or Tot picks up a fistful of shiny magnetic shapes and down the hatch they go. Don't wait for the object to take its natural course, says pediatric emergency medicine doctor at Nationwide Children's Hospital, Dr. Leah Middleberg. Often it is hard to know um, in children that you know can't tell you or are embarrassed, and you know especially sometimes in older children they're embarrassed and they don't want to tell anybody, um, and so it is difficult to know. And unfortunately, the symptoms can often look very. Um, innocent, they can look very much like a kind of irregular stomach bug that we see so frequently in childhood. Um, and so sometimes symptoms are nausea, vomiting, um, you know, later symptoms, if, if they do start having an infection and, and more serious consequences, um, fevers, changes to their belly, significant belly pain. Um, and so often it can be hard uh, for folks to figure out it was a, a magnet ingestion. And so it's something that we, you know, educate our, our medical providers and and um, about and, and um, to ask families, you know, hopefully if, uh, if there's any chance their kiddo could have gotten into a foreign body if they have magnets in the house. But if a child is having symptoms um, of nausea, vomiting, things like that, and there are high powered magnets, in the house, it would be really helpful for um, parents to share that information just in case something else needed to be done. The magnets used to be banned from sale, says Dr. Middleberg. During the period that the Consumer Product Safety Commission ban was in effect, there was a 33% decrease in injuries, um, showing that ban was, or in, in calls, and showing that ban that was, was effective. And then unfortunately, since these products have been back on the market in 2017, um, in 2018 and 2019 alone, we had 39% of all cases that they that the poison centers heard about. So there's a 444% increase in the number of cases that they hear about um, just in 2018 and 2019. If you want to take action against the sale of high-powered magnets, contact your congressperson about the Magnet Injury Prevention Act. For the digital team, this is Cynthia Rossi on NBC4i.com.